Okay, so starting at the top of our head and just roll your head gently to one side and then slowly bring it back to center and really pay attention to how smoothly your head is rolling as you're slowly bringing it back to center. And then gently turn your head to the opposite side and slowly bringing it back to center and paying attention to the movement and paying attention to how your shoulders and your neck feel as you're rolling your head. And now let's focus on taking a nice deep breath. And as you're taking a few deep breaths, we're gonna be moving down through our torso. So starting at the shoulders and your chest, as you take that breath, notice the movement that you feel in your rib cage, the movement you feel in your back and in your stomach as you're taking these nice deep breaths. Make sure to take a couple of them. Notice how your arms are laying today on the floor. Are your fingers relaxed? Are your palms facing up or down? And continuing with that nice deep breathing, moving back into your torso. And notice how your low back is feeling today. And then moving from your low back and into your pelvis and noticing how your hips and your pelvis are feeling on the floor today. And moving down through your pelvis and into your legs. And paying attention to how the back of your legs feel against the floor today, and the back of your knees, and the back of your calves, and your heels, and all the way through your feet and to your toes. And then go ahead when you're ready and bend your knees and bring your feet to standing flat on the floor. And with your arms still laying comfortably beside you, we're gonna start with a couple of flattens. And we usually like to do those on an exhale. So we're gonna inhale first. And exhale as you flatten your back into the floor, bringing your pubic bone up towards your ribs and bringing your ribs down towards your pubic bone. And hold for just a moment. And now super, super slow, focusing on your abdominal muscles, slowly release the contraction in your tummy as you slowly with control, let everything come back to its neutral rested position. And then take a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that one again, starting with an inhale first. And exhale as you flatten your back to the floor, bringing your pubic bone forward and your ribs down, flattening your back to the floor. Hold for just a moment. And super slowly now as you begin to inhale, slowly release the contraction in your belly, slowly letting your hips and your pelvis come back to its neutral position. Slow and smooth with control. and then take a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that one again, starting with the inhale first. And to exhale as you flatten your back to the floor, bring your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, tightening in your tummy muscles. Hold for just a second and slowly as you inhale now, slowly release, slow and smooth. Releasing the contraction in your belly. And then take a moment to rest. And then we're gonna put this right together with our tilt and go into that nice fluid movement between the two. So we'll start with our tilt and then we'll go into the flat and then we'll do a few of them nice and smoothly. So we're gonna start with the tilt. So inhale and tilt, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor. Hold for just a moment and exhale as you slowly release the arch in your low back, slow and smooth. 
and at the very end of that release going right into flatten by bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs and your ribs down to your pubic bone as you flatten your back into the floor. Hold for just a moment and slowly release now the contraction in your belly slowly as you inhale, releasing in the tummy. And at the very end of that release, going right into tilt again, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, holding for just a moment, and exhale as you super slowly release the contraction in your tilt, releasing in your pelvis, Releasing in your back. And at the very end of that release, going right into flatten again, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone as you flatten your back to the floor, holding for just a moment and super slowly releasing. Focusing on your tummy muscles, working for a slower, more controlled release every single time you do the movement. At the end of that one, going into tilt again, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, holding for just a moment, and exhale as you slowly, with control, release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing, and at the end of the release, going into flatten again, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, hold for just a moment, and super slowly release the contraction in your belly. Slow and smooth. And at the end of that release, just take a moment to rest. Good, and we're gonna do that one again, but this time we're gonna add a little bit more of our shoulders and arms into the movement. So we're gonna start again with the tilt. So inhale and tilt, rolling your tailbone forward and down. And at the same time now, roll your arms open so that your palms are facing up to the ceiling, which you will notice your shoulder blades have now pressed gently into the floor. Hold for just a second, and now exhale as you slowly release the contraction in your hips and back, and you're gonna slowly begin to roll your arms back over to palms facing down. And at the end of that release, as you go into flatten, you're gonna turn your back of your hands towards the sides of your body. So now flattening your back into the floor, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, and now roll your arms inwards so the back of your hands are against your legs or your hips. Hold for just a moment and slowly release. Slowly releasing in your belly and slowly letting your arms roll back out to palms facing down. And at the end of that release, going into tilt again and rolling your arms open. So rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor and rolling your arms open so that your palms are facing up to the ceiling. Hold for just a moment and slowly release. Slowly releasing in your back, slowly letting your arms roll back over to palms facing down. And at the end of that release, going into flatten again, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, and rolling your arms inward now so the back of your hands are against the side of your legs. Hold for just a moment and super slowly release. Slowly with control, releasing in your abdominals, slowly releasing in your pecs as you roll your arms back down. And then one more time, you'll switch the movement again. So once your palms are facing down, going into tilt again and rolling your arms open so that your palms are facing up to the ceiling as you roll that tailbone forward and down. And hold for a moment. And then slowly release. Slowly releasing in your back, slowly rolling your arms back down to palm facing down. And then one more time going into your flatten, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs and your ribs to your pubic bone as you flatten your back to the floor and rolling your arms now towards your body so the back of your hands are near your legs or your hips. Hold for a moment 
and super slowly release. Slowly releasing and coming back to your neutral rested position. Good. And once you're back to your rested position, nice and slowly, we're going to roll over onto our bellies. And we're going to start with both hands being uh, palms down on the floor and resting your forehead on the back of your hands. So both arms will be bent up. Yes, forehead resting on the back of your hands. Both of your elbows are out to the sides. And we're going to start with the peekaboo. So for the peekaboo, we'll be inhaling and lifting our head and chest. Your arms and your hands will stay on the floor. So when we're ready, inhale and lifting your head and chest gently, elbows and hands stay on the floor. And as you're lifting your head, bring your eyes with your head. So eyes and head tilting upwards only to as far as you can go comfortably. Pause. And then super slow and smooth, lowering your head and your eyes back down to the floor. Slow and smooth with control until your head is resting on your hands again. And then just take a moment to rest. And for this next movement, you're going to keep your head on the floor or on your hands. This time you're going to be lifting just your elbows. So your head and your hands stay on the floor and you'll be lifting your elbows, which will be drawing your shoulder blades towards each other. So just a little lift of the elbows now. Elbows gently lifting off the floor. You'll feel that in your shoulder blades. Hold for just a moment and now super slowly release the shoulder blades and release the elbows to coming back down to the floor. Slow and smooth. And then take just a moment to rest. Next, we're going to be doing a look over your shoulder movement. So we're going to start with the right arm. We'll stay where it is. Your left arm is going to go down long beside your body. And then you're going to turn your face to the right. So you'll be looking at your right elbow. Your left cheek will be on the back of your hand. I think most of you have done this one before. So we're going to start with the whole body. And we'll start on an, ex on an exhale again. So start with an inhale first, laying relaxed. And exhale as you lift your head, your chest, and your elbow. And lengthen and lift the opposite leg. So your left leg is lifting. And you're gently looking over your right shoulder. Hold for just a moment. And now super slowly lower everything back down to the floor. Slow and smooth. Lowering your head, your chest and your elbow and your leg. Smoothly all together. And when everything is back down to the floor, take a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that same one again. And just to give you the experience of trying it, this time let's try it with an inhale and see if you notice a difference. So when you're ready, inhale and lift, head, chest, and elbow on the right side. Lengthen and lift the left leg, gently looking over your shoulder. Hold for just a moment and super slowly lower everything back down. Slow and smooth. Lowering back down to the floor. And when everything is back down to the floor, take a moment to rest. And one more time on that side. This time, let's go with an exhale again. So inhale first. And exhale as you lift your head, your chest, and your elbow, lengthening and lifting the left leg. Hold for just a moment. And slowly, with control, lowering everything back down to the floor. Slow and smooth, releasing slowly. And then taking just a moment to rest. 
And then when you're ready, without rushing, we're going to switch to the other side. So your right arm will be laying long beside your body. The left arm will be coming up to your face. And you'll turn your head so that you're looking towards the left elbow now. We'll start this one with an exhale again. So inhale first. And exhale as you lift your head, your chest, and your elbow, lengthening and lifting the right leg, gently looking over that left shoulder. Hold for just a moment. And now super slowly with control, lowering everything back down to the floor, slow and smooth. And when everything is back down to the floor, taking just a moment to rest. And we'll repeat that one again. This time we'll try it with the inhale. So when you're ready, Inhale and lift head, chest, and elbow, lengthening and lifting the right leg as you look over your left shoulder gently. Hold for a moment. Exhale now as you slowly lower, slowly lowering everything back down to the floor. Slow and smooth with control. And when everything is back down to the floor, taking a moment to rest. And for our last one on this side, we're going to do it with the exhale again. So when you're ready, starting with the inhale. And exhale as you lift your head, your chest, and your elbow, gently looking over the left shoulder as you lengthen and lift the right leg. Holding for just a moment and super slowly begin to lower. Slow and smooth. Slowly with control. And when everything is back down to the floor, taking just a moment to rest. And then you're going to bring that right arm back up and bring your forehead facing down again. And we're going to do another peekaboo. So an inhale first as you stay relaxed. And exhale now as you lift your head and your eyes and your chest, your hands and your elbows will stay on the floor. Lifting your head, your eyes and your chest, gazing upwards only as far as you can go comfortably. And then super slow and smooth, lowering your head, your eyes and your chest. Back down to the floor. As slow and smooth as you can. And take just a moment to rest. And we're going to do one more peekaboo, but this time I want everybody to only lift your head, your eyes, and your chest about 15% as far as you did on the last one. So let's try it with an inhale. So inhale and lift head, chest, and eyes, but just a tiny little bit. And hold. And now super slowly lower your head, your chest, and your eyes back down. So this is a much smaller journey of lowering. You're going to try and do it as slow and smooth as you can still, even though it's a much smaller amount of space you're doing it in. And once your head is resting comfortably on the back of your hands again, take a moment to rest. And then without rushing, you're going to roll over onto your back again. And um, just to point out to everybody, um, when you're doing your somatics, always make sure to have some cushions nearby. Like for that one, when you're laying on your back, some of you might, or sorry, when you were laying on your bellies, some of you may have been more comfortable if you would have put a pillow just under uh, your feet. Because sometimes, you know how your toes are like sticking on the floor and it can be a bit uncomfortable. So anyways, make sure you always have some cushions nearby. So now that we're all laying on our backs again with our knees bent and our feet flat on the floor, I'd like you to bring your right hand up behind your ear or your head, somewhere where it can be comfortable. And we'll leave the left arm laying long beside your body. 
and we're going to start with our inhale and arch. So inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor as your low back arches off the floor. Tilt your head back a little bit gently and hold for just a second. And now slowly exhale as you release the contraction in your back and slowly releasing in your neck. And at the very end of that release, you're gonna go right into flatten, bringing your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs to your pubic bone as you flatten your back to the floor and now lifting your head and your chest. And I'd like you to bring your right elbow and your right knee towards each other. So this time it's same side, right elbow and right knee. And hold for just a moment. And now super slowly lower. So slowly lowering your head and your chest and slowly lowering your right foot back down to the floor, slow and smooth. Your elbow will be lowering last. Once your head is to the floor, slowly opening the elbow. And then taking just a moment to rest. And we'll be repeating that one, only this time we'll be going to the opposite knee. So starting again with our inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, tilting your head back gently, hold for just a moment. Exhale now as you slowly release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing in your neck. And at the very end of that release, Going into flatten as you bring your pubic bone towards your ribs and your ribs to your pubic bone, flattening your back to the floor. Now lifting your head and chest gently and bringing your right elbow and your left knee towards each other. Hold for just a moment and then super slowly lowering. Slowly with control, lowering your head and foot. Super, super slow. Once your head and foot are both back down to the floor, then slowly letting your elbow open. And then taking just a moment to rest. And then switching sides now. So now you're gonna be bringing your left arm up behind your head, your right arm will go long. And starting with our inhale and arch again. So inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, tilting your head back, holding for just a moment. Exhale as you slowly begin to release the contraction in your back. Super slow and smooth. And then going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone towards your ribs and your ribs towards your pubic bone. Lifting your head and chest now and bringing your left elbow and your left knee towards each other. So same side, left elbow, left knee coming towards each other. Holding for just a moment and then super slowly lowering. Slowly lowering your head and your chest, slowly lowering your foot. Slowly allowing them to come back down to the floor with control. And your elbow will be coming down last, nice and slow. And then taking just a moment to rest. And we'll be repeating that one, going to the opposite side this time. So starting with our inhale and arch again, rolling your tailbone forward and down to the floor, tilting your head back, holding for just a moment, and exhale as you slowly begin to release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing in your neck. Slow and smooth. And at the very end of that release, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, flattening your back, and now lifting your head, your chest, and your left elbow, bringing them towards your right knee, holding for just a moment, and then super slowly lowering, slowly lowering your foot, 
slowly lowering your head. And when your head and foot are back to the floor, slowly lowering your elbow. And then taking just a moment to rest. And then without rushing, you're gonna bring your right arm up behind your head now so that we have both hands behind your head or your fingertips behind your ears, that works as well. And we're gonna start with an inhale and arch again. So inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down. At the same time, now think of pressing your shoulder blades into the floor and drawing them towards your tailbone. Tilting your head back and let your jaw open softly and hold for just a second. And now as you begin to exhale, slowly release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing your shoulder blades, slowly releasing in your neck, slow and smooth. And at the end of that release, flattening your back to the floor as you bring your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone. And now you're gonna bring your elbows together and lift your head and chest towards your right knee. So head and chest both going towards the right knee, then holding for just a moment and slowly begin to lower. Slowly lowering everything back down to the floor. And when your head is back down to the floor, slowly letting both your elbows open slowly with control. Till they're back down on the floor. Take just a moment to rest. We'll repeat that one again. Inhale and arch, rolling your tailbone forward and down into the floor. Press your shoulder blades down and think of drawing them towards your tailbone, tilting your head back and letting your jaw open softly. Hold for just a moment. Exhale now as you slowly with control, release in your back and your hips, slowly letting your shoulders release, slowly letting your neck release. And at the very end of that release, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone towards your ribs, your ribs towards your pubic bone, bring your elbows together and now lifting your head and chest towards your left knee, left knee this time. Head and chest coming towards left knee. Hold for just a moment. Super slowly begin to lower. Slowly now with control. Lowering your head and your chest. Back down to the floor. Once your head is resting on the floor, slowly with control. Letting the elbows come back down towards the floor. I'm taking just a moment to rest. We're gonna be doing two or three more, but for the last ones now, we'll be going uh, straight instead of to one knee or to the other. So for the first one, we're gonna keep our feet on the floor. And then for the last two, if you want to lift your feet off the floor, you can. So starting in with our inhale and arch again, rolling the tailbone forward and down, pressing the shoulder blades, tilting the head back, letting the jaw open softly, hold for a moment. Exhale as you slowly begin to release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing your shoulders, slowly releasing in the neck. And when you've finished releasing, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone and ribs towards each other, flattening your back to the floor, bring your elbows together and gently lift your head and chest into that soft curled position, lifting straight up towards your knees. Feet will stay flat on the floor. Hold for a moment. Now super slowly as you begin to lower your head, really pay attention to what's happening in your tummy muscles as you slowly release. Really work for slow, controlled release. Slowly lowering that head back down to the floor. And then slowly letting the elbows open last. Super slow, slow and smooth. And when you're finished, take just a moment to rest. 
We'll repeat that one again. Starting again with our inhale and arch. Rolling your tailbone forward and down into the floor as you press your shoulder blades down, drawing them towards your tailbone, tilting your head back, letting your jaw open softly. Hold for just a moment. Exhale now as you slowly begin to release the contraction in your back, slowly releasing in your shoulders, slowly releasing in your neck. And at the very end of that release, going right into flatten as you bring your pubic bone up and forward towards your ribs, your ribs down towards your pubic bone, bring your elbows together and gently lift your head and chest. And this time, if you'd like to lift your feet off the floor at the same time, you can. Just lift them a little bit though. Hold for a moment and then super slowly, lowering your feet, your head and your chest, as slow as you can. And then slowly letting your elbows open last. And when you're finished that one, take just a moment to rest. And then you're gonna go back into our body scan position when you're ready and without rushing. So if you had your legs laying flat at the beginning of class, make sure you go back to legs laying flat again. And we're gonna start with the rolling of our head again. So go ahead and roll your head to one side. And then super slowly bringing your head back to center. And then rolling your head to the other side. And super slowly bringing it back to center. Once your head is back to center, we're gonna start again with some nice deep breaths. So nice big inhale. And paying attention to how this breath is moving in your body as you exhale, pay attention to your rib cage and your back and your stomach. And just notice if you have more freedom of movement in this breath now than you did at the beginning of class. And move your awareness into your low back now. And try to remember how your low back felt at the beginning of class and how it feels now. And now move your awareness into your hips, into your pelvis. And all the way down through your legs now. Noticing how the back of your legs feel. The back of your calves. And when you're ready, you're gonna roll to your side and come up to sitting nice and slow. I'm gonna unmute everybody, although it's telling me we already have less than a minute. So does everybody's low back feel awesome now? Better. 